and hello to you. My name's Aaron, and I guess we could call this Tales from the Sorry Chair, because I'm sitting in my sorry chair where I rest my backside far more often than I need to be doing. But anyway, we're going to make a stab at something, going to make a stab at a little quick and dirty movie review. What we got going on here is, of course, it's the holiday season, and and back during the good old days, your television provider would unlock the vaults to the premium channels on those holiday weekends and let you see them for free. And that's what happened with DirecTV during this holiday season, this Thanksgiving holiday season. And during the days of shopping there, I selected a particularly interesting looking slice of turkey. And that interesting slice of turkey is the flick known as The Hunt. Yes, as in The Hunt. That film that you may have called caused a big old hullabaloo several months ago because the story leaked out that the film was supposed to be about a bunch of leftward-leaning people who have a big old bunch of money and they set up a, an, ex, an exceptionally cruel thing where they grab a bunch of right-hand-leaning people and as you learn in the film, certain specifically selected right-handed people, right, right, the uh, rightward leaning people, and they set these people free and hunt them for sport for the purpose of killing them. Yes, I know it sounds absolutely like a fantastic film. And as you remember, there was a big old bunch of hullabaloo when that story got out. And what wound up happening was the wide release got put off for several months. And, 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 but eventually it would come out, it would, it would come out live. It would come out wide. And, and now it's made it to, of course, to all the other normal, typical alternative outlets for, for film entertainment. Well, it came up available during this weekend, so I DVR'd it. And, and, and as far as, and as far as the film goes, well, well, like I said, it's Turkey. It's definitely a turkey. It's definitely not Oscar winning. It's it's acted well for what it is, but it's not like exceptionally fantastic. And it's and, and as far as how the story goes, well, uh, well, we can well one positive thing that we can say about it is it goes exactly like that meme, that meme that you've probably seen from some of your right leaning friends on your social media feed. Uh, and the meme I'm talking about is the one that says. People's talking about civil war. <coughs> Pardon me as I clear my throat there. People talking about civil war. Well, let's see what we got here. We got one side that has six trillion bullets stored away, and the other side doesn't know which bathroom to go pee in. <laughs> it kind of plays out like that. It's 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 you know it's very it's very similar to the Joker. Very similar to the Joaquin Phoenix Joker. Everybody had this great, great fear that there was going to be an incel uprise when this film comes out. And the incel uprise turned out to be a big, fat nothing burger. Like, a whole big bunch of big, fat nothing burgers that we can talk about as far as things going on in the news. It turned out to be a big old nothing burger. And The Hunt's kind of a big old nothing burger as well. The, the story plays out exactly like that meme goes. Now, if there's one positive thing, other positive thing that I can say about the film is you don't have to worry about network syndrome. And when I talk about network syndrome, what I mean is this. Word from Ben Mankiewicz from Turner Classic Movies is that that classic film from the 1970s, Network, the people that created that movie intended the thing to play as satire. Yeah. Apparently they intended that thing to be satire. And the thing is, nobody got that. But but here's the thing. Here's the thing about Network. They may have intended it as satire, but did they play it as satire? No. 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 If you were familiar with a film that came out years earlier, years before Network, uh, and that Andy Griffith show, A Face in the Crowd, well, Network played about as straight as that film right there. And that film, as far as I could tell, wasn't satire. It looked like it was a rel relatively serious fiction story. 
And it was played like that. It was played to portray the story of, of a quirky little entertainment guy that somehow comes to become a, a mover and shaker and a power broker in American politics. It, 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 seemed, it seemed like a serious play to me. And that's exactly how Network looked. But as far as the hunt, <laughs> you don't have to worry about you know, network syndrome here. No, sorry. <clears throat> Pardon me again as my sinus drainage plays up here. No, no, no. You don't, as far as the hunt, you don't have to worry about being mistaken for Red Dawn with a left handed thread. No, 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 no. No, the hunt. Oh, sweetie pie, the hunt. Oh, the. From from the accents of the right-handed thread prey to the left-handed store owners that trigger one another. <coughs> Pardon my throat again. You don't have to worry about satire. It comes across exactly as satire. So no need to worry about no network trap here. Well, anyway, like I said, there it is. And, and, and like we said, the end of the world did not happen like they thought it was. But you know what? You make movies like that and, and you let stuff leak out, there's definitely going to be hullabaloo. And definitely if you reverse the polarity. Oh, dear me, if you reverse the polarity. Oh, yes, there would be backlash. There would be front lash. There would be up and down sideways lash. Oh, my goodness gracious. Like I said, it was a delightful little slice of turkey for your free premium channel weekend on your friendly neighborhood satellite provider. Well, again, I'm Aaron, and this is what I suppose you could say is a volume of Tales from the Sorry Chair. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>